All right, next question. Which collab video made you the most nervous to film? Ooh, I'm trying to think. What? I, I remember walking into Joey Graceffa's house. Okay. And for me, this is just more of a testament of like the times. Because it was really it was the, early It was on. the first time that I was going to big YouTubers' houses in LA, never been there before, uh -huh. to film a collab and like be on their channel. And they were like, oh my God, it's Simply Neological. And I'm like, you know me? Yeah. Um, so it was just a culture shock for me. I remember walking into like his beautiful house, which was not the same as where, where, where we were. It smelled, smelled so much of candles. <laughs> and I was just so nervous and like fixing my makeup in his beautiful bathroom. And I was just like so out of my element. So for me, it, it wasn't him that made me nervous. It was just the experience of for the first time, like realizing I'm in some like YouTuber's house that's beautiful and this is their life. Mm -hmm. because it, I had literally just climbed Polish Mountain and my life hadn't really changed that much sure. at that point. So I think I was really nervous around 2017. Yeah, he was really nice. And yeah, I remember like I was sitting downstairs with Daniel while you guys were filming. Yeah, his Nice partner. conversation yeah. with him, yeah. Yeah, was really he was good. trying to make us feel better and less nervous. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they were super happy people. Although like I think the funnest reaction we ever got to I remember when you told him like you still worked a day job and oh. he looked at you like you were an alien <laughs> yeah was he was hilarious. like what what do you a mean day a day job, job? <laughs> like what is that <laughs> yeah yeah actually yeah. when I worked with all these youtubers and collabs I remember that's something they always asked me about they're like why do you still have a job honey like yeah. <laughs> like uh even though like in those early days what you had like one viral hit and all of a sudden yeah you had a i was i was definitely not an established big youtuber like they were at the time yeah, yeah. weird thinking back <laughs> all right next question have you ever regretted filming with another creator and if so why oh i <laughs> There's no videos that I regret doing. It's not like I wish that they weren't on the internet. I no. mean, I did what I did. I've made <laughs> peace with it. Um, There's maybe videos that didn't turn out as good as other ones, or yeah. maybe it didn't feel like... I guess I want to be careful how we put this, because we could be like really good friends with a creator, but for some reason, just creatively the two of you on camera together like didn't really work, or maybe there was a lot of awkwardness. Sometimes... I don't watch a lot of my videos back, actually. After, mm -hmm. like, I have to edit all my videos, obviously. Mm -hmm. But once I've published them, I never watch my own videos back. Mostly because just seeing myself makes me cringe. Especially older videos of myself. Yeah. Especially ones where I collabed with someone. And I can tell that I was just so nervous mm -hmm. and acting weird. And I remember feeling that, like, high energy, like, strung out. I just want to say something funny to try and make this collab work. Yeah. And, I, like, Yolanda, How to Cake, how to cake It was cake. an example. It yeah. wasn't her fault. She's no. a completely chill, like, down-to-earth cake-baking lady. Like, she's just cool. Oh, yeah. But I was just so freaking weird for some reason yeah. on that day. Like, I was just strung out. Yeah, if we regret any of them, we regret it because Christine missed it. But I... <laughs> Exactly. I don't regret no. the collab. I regret no. my cringy behavior. <laughs> <laughs> so it is harder when you're in someone else's space with someone else's cameras and with someone else's style. One thing I will say, like beauty YouTube, I think overall, at least the four or so people mm -hmm. I've worked with, they are, have a much more relaxed approach to filming than I do because Maybe I'm just overly trying to find like a concept. What's the funny part? What am I reacting to? Now I tr test this weird thing and then I conclude doing this. Whereas mm -hmm. in a product review or something, you kind of like, there's no plan. You're just like, I'm going to play with this today. Open-ended. Yeah. So it's a little different type of uh, way to film and approach the concept that I guess I wasn't used to. Mm -hmm. I also edit my videos way differently. So actually this is funny. I remember when mm -hmm. I was filming with Manny, uh, I like felt the need when we sat down to explain to him that because I do jump cuts, I sometimes may take a pause like in real life in between saying a sentence so that when you cut one sentence closer to another, it looks like you shifted a little. <laughs> yeah. And I like that just from like an editing perspective. So uh -huh. I in real time, it, it actually looked like this. Like, hello, everyone. I'm here with Manny. 
he's a really good like <laughs> eyebrow person. Do you know? You know? So, yeah, but in an unedited edited video, you look crazy lo- doing that. And it, then he, right? I remember him being like, "Okay," yeah. like, <laughs> and I'd tell him like, "I might have to say this again. I'm gonna like repeat it a couple times yeah. in a few different ways." And he's like, "Whatever you want." Like he was very accommodating. He was sure. like, "Whatever you want, girl. He's I don't know." Crazy. But Canadian, I remember right? thinking like, "Oh my god, this is so different than how." at least the beauty youtubers i worked with film they don't do that they just like talk yeah. normally i swear you, you must have a little bit of ocd in you because like we've talked about this before how we'll often have like three hours of footage to get down to one of your like 15 minute videos three hours it's been like Sometimes five lately more. but i don't think people realize a lot of that is me just so like i'll do a first cut of edits just so you have a less files to work with but it's often you just saying the same thing over like and over. Like times in a row. Yeah, I've gotten worse. Well, yeah, I think you're nervous. You're an anxious person, right? I think you're comfortable admitting that. But yeah, it sometimes manifests in Christine just feeling like she needs to say the same sentence like 20 <laughs> times in a row until she says it the way she likes it. No one shall release my <laughs> raw cut yeah, footage. You, you don't the world see will never see. <laughs> Only the collaborators that I've worked with know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.